Now, this is the face of a well-known British celebrity. Do you recognize it? Something to me. Something that simply mystifies me. Is it getting easier? Tell me. Why should it be? You have the power to hypnotize me. Isn't it strange? that it's much easier for the brain to recognize an exaggerated caricature of a face than a more accurate line drawing. So why do we find it so much easier to recognize a caricature? Some experts believe it's because that's how the brain itself works. It wouldn't surprise me at all if what the artist is doing is actually mimicking the very processes that are going on in your own brain when you look at any person. And what the brain seems to be doing every time it looks at a face is searching for differences from the norm. It's looking for features it can exaggerate and caricature to help it to remember the person next time. This theory is new and it strikes a chord with professional caricaturists like Tim Watts. I think in caricature you can unlock or or heighten or underline um, what it is about that person's face which makes them different from another person. You do something to me that nobody else can do. I think what's going on is your brain is in a sense producing an internal caricature. In fact, there have been experiments showing that you recognize caricatures faster and more accurately than the original that was shown to you. So here are Prince Charles and President Bush II. But what about my face? Uh, John Cleese has a sort of banana-shaped face. His um, chin comes up at the bottom and his forehead sort of comes over at the top here, creates a sort of moon, crescent moon shape. Not quite Mr. Punch, because he hasn't got the hooked nose of Punch, but his chin is large, and um, um, but it's not large in a, in a Kirk Douglas or Errol Flynn type way. It does have something of a, uh, an underhang as well. Well, of course, what's really good about it is that he looks so young. Um, then there's the big chin. I'm surprised he got that. And with caricature, you can't make everything big. You can't exaggerate everything. So with Cleese, something has to give. And in that, in his instance, it's it's the nose. The nose becomes smaller, and uh, and more sort of delicate. The nose is very good, rather pointy, a little bit like a rodent. I think with Cleese, probably most people think of Basil Fawlty. So it has a severity about the expression, the bulging eyes. But can the puppet do this? 